Now, for Kenyans leaving abroad, the distance away from home can often lead to quite a disconnect with the country's ever-changing culture, tradition and identity. It is therefore for that reason that many Kenyans living in the United Kingdom always look forward to the summer period in order to attend an event that brings Kenya quite close to their doorsteps. For its ninth year running, Kenya and Friends in the Park Extravaganza seeks to unite Kenyans living in the UK and Europe through an annual event that sees many travel from far to share that Kenyan spirit so far away from home. This year's event was graced by our very own Timothy Otieno, who files the following report from London, England. The food, the fun, and the fanfare. If it's a Kenyan event, then you expect Kenyans to do what they know how to so well, turn up. And so, turn up they did at this open park in West London, where this year's Kenya and Friends in the Park Festival was taking place. Oh, these ones are my one of my best. Yes, we brought them from Kenya and to Najibunia to our Kenya. It's not just Miwani. We wear them, we wear, you look at my Kenyan earrings, because I'm a proud Kenyan. Mimi ni mwenye anajibunia. You look at my jacket. The two-day event is an annual summer activity that many Kenyans living in the United Kingdom look forward to. It provides a rare and unique opportunity for a people who share a common heritage to come together in a foreign land and network, have a good time, enjoy some music and intermingle freely. My highlight of the day is to meet long old friends whom I haven't seen in a very long time. <laughs> It's the first Kenya and Friends in the Park event to be held since the pandemic, and the attraction here extends far beyond the Kenyan borders. Friends Trevor Uzoma from Nigeria and Nana Kwame from Ghana are getting a feel and taste of what East Africans have to offer their West African counterparts. So far, it's been impressive. Um, it's very, very warm atmosphere, very loving, um, very soulful. It's interesting how I got here. So I was coming from town and then I heard African music playing. I was like, I needed to trace where this music is coming from. And then I got here and I saw of oh, Kenyan, Kenyans and friends. I'm like, okay, I'm a friend. I have a lot of Kenyan friends, so why not enter? And I got here and it's amazing, great atmosphere. And one thing, kudos to the organizers. There's rarely anything African in this part of town. The brains behind this event, held for nearly a decade, is this young lady who tapped into the growing need to have an East African event where none had been held before in London. Lydia Tet Olet is proud of her project. We spotted her on several occasions, gleefully filming various aspects of the day as men, women and children danced away under the hot July London sun. <laughs> run with people who believe in my vision and because of i have a good team behind me that is why today is a success it's not just me because i can't do it by myself she tells us that the event cost nearly a hundred thousand pounds to organize this year oh i'm so happy to be here thank you so much for coming out to support kenya a star-studded lineup of celebrities made their way to london to grace the occasion which saw traders like Ugandan-born Kenyan chef Hamza D make a killing selling the popular Nyamachoma delicacy. I woke up at 5 o'clock and I haven't, I haven't had a rest since. I think we are here also to enjoy ourselves. It's summer uh, and when we are looking to boost trade, we need we make connections here. You feel, you know, the sense of belonging. It's good to just see other Kenyans. Uh, we are the church. And uh, our mission is uh, to bring families together, uh, to co reconcile and transform families. 
And so, as they danced away in the summer sun, many of these Kenyans and their friends have once again gotten a chance to witness the beauty and splendor of interacting with their fellow citizens in an annual event unlikely to go away anytime soon. So it's the first time in nearly three years since the pandemic that Kenyans from across Europe are gathering at such an event to spread the Kenyan cheer network as well as interact through culture and music in an event that's rare in this part of the world, celebrating the Kenyan spirit so far away from home. Timothy Otieno, KTN News in London, the United Kingdom. When we come back, we take a look at retired President Uhuru Kenyatta.